This woman wasn't prepared for what the doctor would tell her about her pregnancy. A lot of people say that having children brings joy and is one of the best things that can possibly happen to someone. Children make parents feel a love they haven't experienced before, and they add a different perspective to life. Some parents consider having at least one daughter and one son ideal. For several years, this couple has been trying for a baby girl. When they finally got pregnant, the couple couldn't have predicted what would happen next. Many moms who have two boys find it natural to want to add a baby girl to the mix. Out with the blue and hello to pink. Katie and Angelo, a happily married Californian couple were lucky to have two boys. After seeing their boys grow up, the parents had an itch to raise more. Feeling confident given that they were already handling the stresses that typically come with boys, why not try for a girl? It's important not to be too picky, of course. Any healthy baby, whether it be a boy or girl, is a gift. Katie, Angelo, and their two sons were overjoyed to hear the news that a new baby would be on the way. They dedicated a separate room in the house for the nursery. Together they decorated it and bought toys and clothes, anticipating the new baby. The air was buzzing with excitement and everyone was giddy. The entire family was counting down the days until Katie would be giving birth. They all didn't know what was soon to come. It can be quite an exciting time for couples who are expecting a baby. There's a sense of anxiety and a sort of uncertainty that parents feel as the birth of their new baby starts to become a reality. In San Diego, California, at Sharp Memorial Hospital this one family spent the past couple of days getting ready for this precious and wonderful moment. The entire family was eager and preparing for the special day. Shortly after Angelo and Katie discovered that they were to be expecting a new baby, the couple grew giddy with joy and excitement. The parents were eager and happy to hear the news that they would finally be having a baby girl. They had been dreaming of having a baby girl, and now that dream was coming true. The doctors told them the good news and Katie and Angelo were ecstatic. Finally, they would add a baby girl to the mix. Angelo and Katie were deciding when it would be the right time to grow their family. They had already been married for a while, so they were pretty dedicated when they brought two beautiful boys into the world. It was a blessing for the couple to already have two healthy sons, but Angelo and Katie still felt the urge to grow their family. They felt like something was missing, but what were they still looking for? Angelo and Katie thought they could handle more children and still wanted more. It came naturally to the couple and was pretty effortless. Looking after their two sons wasn't that big of an issue and they were eager to bring another child into the world. Being able to juggle two energetic boys all while enjoying watching them grow up, this family of loving parents welcomed the thought of welcoming another baby. The more the merrier. Feeling pretty confident that they'd be able to handle more kids, the couple was excited and delighted to discover that once again, Katie was pregnant. These expectant parents were overcome with joy when they heard the great news. Just the thought of having a family growing in size brought smiles to the couple's faces. Hearing the news was like music to their ears. The couple had their dreams come true, and Katie's pregnancy was a cause for joy. As soon as the couple found out that Katie was pregnant and expecting, they got a health checkup immediately. They wasted no time at all because when it came to the health of both the baby and Katie, the parents didn't want to risk anything. A ton of things can potentially go south when pregnant, and it's crucial to take precautions to ensure that both the mother and baby are all healthy. Better safe than sorry. Over the course of Katie's early weeks of pregnancy, it had been confirmed by the doctors that she was making pretty healthy progress and everything seemed to be going well. However, one day after she had gone in for a routine checkup, the doctors had something to add. It was what the doctors said on this day that had a profound impact on this couple's lives. It would change everything forever. Nothing after this doctor's visit would ever be the same. Katie and Angelo had expected everything to go smoothly and without a hiccup the day they went to see the doctor. It should have been like any other day however, Dr. Sean Dangeman told the couple that Katie would require special care. This was a cause for alarm. Obviously, hearing that Katie would need a specialist's care was something the couple didn't want to hear nor expected when they walked into the doctor's office that day. A lot of questions were running through their minds. What was wrong? 
Why would Katie need to see a specialist? What's going on? Even though the couple tried to stay calm and not worry, they couldn't help feeling anxious and nervous. With all the questions that were on the couple's minds, it made them feel helpless. At this point, there was little the parents could do. This was entirely out of their control. How would they get through this and stay calm? Both Katie and Angelo were worried about the bad news they were going to receive. It had been building up and the anticipation as to what the doctor was going to say seemed unbearable. However, after the couple asked why Katie would need to see another doctor, he gave a straightforward answer. This answer was unexpected though and came completely out of the left field. This answer stunned them and it was something they didn't expect to learn. Women who are pregnant must be looked after, protected, and well taken care of just in case of any emergency. Katie's doctor didn't want to take any risks when it involved her health, so he told her, we should stay in the hospital for now, Katie. There was no hesitation from Angelo and Katie, and they followed the doctor's instructions. They both headed to the hospital to make sure the baby and Katie were both safe. Both Katie and Angelo were given an explanation from the doctors that the main reason Katie needed the extra attention was due to the fact her pregnancy was determined to be high risk. Extra care would be needed. Katie and the baby needed to be carefully monitored and looked after because high-risk pregnancies can harm both the baby and the mother. It is crucial for both the baby and mother to be looked after. The couple didn't want to take any chances. Worried that Katie would develop complications, which meant that not only her baby would be at risk, but her health as well. The couple was informed by the doctors that she would need 24-7, round-the-clock care to make sure both she and the baby would be fine. Definitely something that Katie didn't want to hear and both her and Angela were worried. Katie was already uncomfortably pregnant. And this was just something extra to add to the stressful situation. There's a good reason for the doctors to have been a bit cautious about Katie's pregnancy. It wasn't just any unnecessary worrying. There was an explanation as to why the doctors were being extra careful. Katie wasn't expecting one baby, but in fact, multiple. We'll repeat that again for you, Katie was expecting not one child, but more than one. Yes, the thought was the more the merrier, but just how many more children would Katie be having? Katie wasn't pregnant with one baby, nor two, but three. Triplets. Can you imagine having to carry around three babies all at the same time? Luckily the doctors were able to make sure everything was okay. Triplets. Not one, or two, but three. Katie and Angela were stunned. The overwhelming thought of giving birth to three babies added to the stress. They wanted to make sure Katie would be able to deliver them all safely. This was quite a unique situation for Katie. But you may have already guessed that after discovering that the couple was having triplets, both Katie and Angelo couldn't be happier. They were ecstatic. Due to the fact that Katie and Angelo wanted to grow their family size, even more, this was good news to them. It was music to their ears and finding out that they'd be having triplets was a welcome blessing. They were beyond happy. Not everything was okay though. There was an issue with Katie's triplets. Two of the babies in her womb were sharing just one placenta. This made the couple extremely worried. What was first great news quickly turned into added worry about the two babies. This is a very rare and complicated situation that shouldn't be neglected. It would be crucial for the doctors to ensure that both Katie and her babies are safe. Having two babies sharing one placenta isn't ideal. It's actually not a huge problem when there's only one placenta for two babies, it's not too dire, but it does have disadvantages for babies. It isn't the best situation, but it could be worse. One baby wasn't the same size as the other two. In Katie's womb, there were two smaller babies and one larger one which could cause possible problems. There is a laundry list of possible complications when dealing with triplets, but this one seemed manageable. Having Katie's babies being born prematurely was a high probability. This would be a risky pregnancy and this problem is quite serious. It was a main concern for the couple, and it was of the utmost importance that the babies be born on time. Premature births are common amongst twins as well. When it comes to triplets though, this makes it way more of a risk. Two is one thing, but three is a different story altogether. 
Underdeveloped lungs, brain bleeding, and other serious complications are a real threat when giving birth to triplets. Some issues could also follow after birth. Due to this, the doctors needed to be very careful when dealing with the triplets. Stressful wouldn't even come close to describing how the couple felt. This was beyond them, and they needed to remember to stay calm, maintain their composure, and just keep pushing forward, keeping in mind that health is the most important thing to focus on at the moment. The triplets were at risk. Their health was on the line. The doctor was correct about Katie requiring a specialist to make sure that things would go smoothly over the course of her pregnancy. But because of this, it added to Katie's stress levels, and it was one of Angelo and Katie's most stressful periods. It's not healthy for women who are pregnant to be too stressed out and tense. The medical team did everything within their power to keep Katie calm. As time went by, Katie entered her 27th week of pregnancy, and her belly was growing larger. Katie was admitted to a hospital to make sure that her pregnancy was healthy and that nothing was wrong. Katie had no choice but to be away from her family and loved ones. Regardless, she continued on and persevered, doing the only thing she could at the time dedicate her time and energy focusing on the babies she was carrying. Over the course of Katie's pregnancy and as things progressed, she discovered more things from her doctors. Katie went through a roller coaster of emotions and encountered a lot of stress. Although Katie was aware that she needed to stay cool, calm, and collected, she still discovered that it was way more difficult than anticipated. Katie was struggling to keep positive and look ahead. The various possibilities worried her even more. Not knowing what could come next is stressful and not good for expectant mothers. Between not and my due date, anything could happen, Katie expressed. Just carrying one baby is stressful enough for some. Wrapping one's head around what it'd be like to be pregnant with triplets seems unfathomable. It was a relief to Katie to find out that the ultrasounds were showing steady and healthy growth for her babies. It seemed as though everything was alright and her triplets were in good health, according to the ultrasound at least. Katie's nervousness and uneasiness were starting to grow day by day as she pictured what she and her baby's future would be like. A lot of stories are told to us about unfortunate pregnancies, she mentioned to interviewers that were at the hospital. It was too difficult to ignore the terrible stories. The bad news would linger and make Katie worry even more about her own babies. It's definitely not reassuring to hear other unfortunate stories from those in the hospital. Katie tried her best not to let it affect her, but she was bothered by the thought of something bad happening to her. The stories of complications and failed pregnancies didn't do well for her nerves. The doctors urged her to stay calm, as these stories were not the best thing for Katie to hear. They made her feel even more stressed out and listening to the horror stories just exacerbated the problem. She needed to stay focused and positive. There was a looming suspicion that Katie wouldn't be able to welcome all of the babies into this world. The thought itched at the back of her mind that they wouldn't make it. Katie said, you hear of triplets that don't all make it. Identical twins, especially. Katie was kept up at night thinking of the stories, and this didn't help the situation one bit. Nightmares plagued her, and she'd wake up in a cold sweat. Was this foreshadowing or just nerves getting to Katie? Was she a prophet predicting the horrible outcome of her pregnancy, or would a different, better outcome happen? Would Katie be a lucky mother and see her triplets? Katie could only think of positive thoughts, as hard as it was, she remained hopeful that her babies would turn out okay. She was eager to see her healthy triplets. Katie was scared, but she would persevere and try to stay as positive as possible. Angela Watson, a part of Sharp Memorial Hospital Perinatal Special Care Unit, explained that the most important thing for mothers like Katie is empathy. Empathy can make a huge difference for expectant mothers. It's one of the best things to help improve the mother's mood. Over the years, Angela has observed many expectant moms who encounter complications during their pregnancy. They need other people and a support network there to give them motivation and to help them stay optimistic and positive. Angela went on to explain in more detail the kind of approach she employs when caring for expectant mothers that are at the hospital. She says, everything that's normal is taken away. Telling mothers that you understand that it's truly hard for them, that's a game-changer for patients and their overall outlook. 
Angela urges people to be aware of pregnant women who require someone who will be there to listen. Also, someone who is willing to lend a helping hand or shoulder to cry on. Expectant mothers need someone who cares by their side. Although Katie's pregnancy was a special situation, it wasn't rare. It definitely wasn't the first time a pregnant woman carried triplets. This wasn't some mother's first rodeo. The three babies were called A, B, and C. The special medical team that helps women give birth to triplets are used to dealing with such cases. Angelo and Katie could only hope for the best, and with an experienced medical team they were made to feel a little less worried. Not enough fluid was getting to baby B, and as time passed the situation seemed to be getting worse. This was a cause for concern. How much time had gone by and how could baby B get more fluid? The baby was affected by the lack of fluid, needless to say. This caused baby B to remain a little bit smaller compared to baby A and C. The other two babies were larger than baby B by this point. The only thing the couple could do was wait and see. The outcome of baby B was completely out of their hands, so all Angelo and Katie could do was pray and wish that all three babies would make it into this world. Patience was key and it was the hardest thing for Katie and Angelo to have at the time. All they could do was wait. The fate of the triplets was up to chance and out of their control. To minimize as much risk as possible, the doctors kept a careful eye on Katie. Up until her 32nd week of pregnancy, the doctors were vigilant and paid close attention to her. The doctors also wanted to make sure that the triplets were given as much attention as the baby's family was giving them. They were so involved with Katie's pregnancy that they had an obligation to do whatever possible to ensure the babies would make it. Katie began to go into labor just one day following her 32nd week of pregnancy. Everything had been done by the doctors and nurses to ensure that Katie was kept healthy. It was a relief and everyone felt like they could breathe easily now. To go into labor now made sense. Having her triplets after her 32nd week was the right time for Katie to give birth to her triplets with as little risk to them as possible. Katie had carried the triplets successfully without any further hiccups or complications. The doctors, nurses, and entire family was happy to hear that everything was going smoothly and turned out as planned. Katie made it this far. She was almost to the finish line. She carried the babies for 32 weeks without any further issues and was about to go into labor. Would it be okay for Katie and the triplets though? Would the delivery go smoothly? It's suggested that childbirth should be natural. It is suggested that giving birth shouldn't really involve any other way, but it should be as natural as possible. But in Katie's situation, a different approach to delivering the babies was required for Katie's unique situation. The doctors and nurses wanted to ensure that the delivery was kept completely under their control so no room for mishaps or complications would arise, they made Katie undergo a cesarean section. This had been a long journey for both Katie and Angelo. It was a very rough and confusing time to wait for the birth of the triplets. It was a roller coaster of emotions, and they were finally happy to see the smiling faces of all three babies. Katie was looking forward to finally giving birth. All she wanted to do was hold her little girls. She was picturing how it would feel to hold them in her arms and know, for certain, that they were safe and healthy. I want to make sure they're okay. As soon as they're delivered I want to touch and kiss them," Katie had confessed. She just wanted to be there for them and nobody could blame her. It was a long time in the making. When Katie was admitted to the hospital she had to be separated from her husband and sons. This was done to make sure that both the babies and she were not affected. Simply put, it had been quite an ordeal. This entire uncertainty the couple went through made it feel like a complete roller coaster ride of emotions. Katie and Angelo were really excited to find out that Katie would be delivering her triplets and no longer would need to worry about possible complications. The delivery of Katie's triplets was a complete success. In the end, all three of the babies were sent to their own individual special team for advanced life support. The midwifery team took over from here. To make sure the newborns did not show any signs of health issues, right after each baby was delivered, the doctors and nurses made sure to examine them very carefully. Right after giving birth there are still many steps to take to make sure nothing else can go wrong. Newborn babies are quite fragile. 
Assisting with the baby's breathing was an important step performed by the team of doctors and nurses to ensure that the newborns were stabilized. The triplets were immediately transferred to an intensive care unit for neonates. All the necessary steps had been taken care of to deliver the triplets, so this would be the first check after delivery. Katie was given some time to finally breathe and recover after intensive childbirth. Giving birth to triplets can be exhausting. The team at the hospital was taking care of the babies and were being watched carefully. Both the babies and the mom were recovering and getting better. When the doctors and nurses were treating the triplets they were careful not to make any mistakes. The triplets' small lungs were a bit difficult to open up, the doctors revealed. They would need to put a bit more effort into getting their lungs open so they could all breathe easier. Katie and Angelo felt helpless once again, as the doctors took control. Tears ran down their faces. The baby's parents looked at each other worried from across the room. The couple was wishing and hoping that the babies would be in stable condition soon. The doctors worked hard, but Katie and Angelo felt like they couldn't do anything besides pray. They wished for the doctors to make sure the triplets would be okay. In the end, after a lot of effort by the doctors and nurses, the triplets turned out to be in stable condition. It was a sigh of relief for both Katie and Angelo. The hurdle had been cleared and the three babies were stable and finally getting the air they needed. Trish, Danielle, and Rebecca were stable thanks to the doctors and nurses that put so much effort into making sure they were stable. The triplets had names now. No more baby A, B, and C. They were welcomed into the world and ready to be sent to intensive care. At intensive care, this is where Katie and Angelo could be reunited with their babies. They spent time with the triplets and got to know them, finally. There were still things that needed to be checked. Everyone was relieved to hear that the triplets were stable, but this wasn't the end of the road. The doctor told the couple, given that the babies are small, they may be predisposed to other complications. Due to the fact that all three babies were born together at the same time, each baby had to be carefully handled. The doctors and nurses still needed to stay close to the newborns to make sure nothing else would happen. Dr. Dainchman said during an interview, long-term issues can be a real threat, but we're excited so far that everything has turned out perfect. The triplets were born healthy. Katie and Angelo could breathe easily because their biggest fear and worry that they wouldn't be born healthy was over. Katie and Angelo, as well as the doctors and nurses all worked together to have a successful outcome. There was reason to celebrate. They all pushed through and brought three beautiful baby girls into this world. Katie had gotten some much-needed rest and was finally ready to meet her newborn triplets. Her babies were waiting for her, ready to meet their new mother. It was a much-anticipated time for Katie, and she couldn't wait to finally see them all. Katie was wheeled up to see the triplets in the neonatal unit by Angelo. The babies were being monitored here to make sure nothing else would happen. Katie could see the little girls through the glass window. The entire ordeal caused so much anxiety and stress, and after the difficult pregnancy, Katie would finally be able to greet the newborn babies. Instead of having to look through the glass of the neonatal unit, she'd finally be able to hold the little bundles of joy. Both Katie and Angelo were proud parents. Beaming with smiles and joy, they were finally able to see their babies and hold them close. They were able to interact with them, finally. Katie felt like she achieved the impossible. She felt relieved to have given birth to daughters she had so longed for, for the longest time. It just feels so right, she whispered to the baby near her chest. Katie carried one baby in her arms and was looking forward to holding the others. This was a special moment. Katie had to wait such a long time, so the special moment was emotional. Tears were falling when she cradled her little newborn baby girls. It's not an easy experience at all being pregnant. A woman must be capable of giving birth successfully, and this involves being not just being strong physically, but also emotionally. There can be many challenges a new mother has to go through. So many different things can go wrong. The worry is there for sure, but being level-headed and calm can make a huge difference. By remaining calm and not anxious, this can ensure that the pregnancy won't encounter further complications induced by stress. Luckily for Katie, she was mentally and physically tough and everything turned out okay. 
It's a huge task giving birth. It can be psychologically and physically draining. Katie had overcome and pushed through all of the difficulties she encountered during her pregnancy. She was finally free and happy that she gave birth successfully. Katie later discussed her experience and put things out there for other new pregnant mothers to hear. It's important for mothers who go through childbirth to share their stories. Katie was able to share what she was thinking when she was going through her pregnancy. This provides a lot of reassurance to new mothers. I really miss them even though it's been only a few hours apart from them, Katie admits to an interviewer. Katie reveals already how she's gotten attached to her newborn triplets and says that she can't handle being apart from them. Reunited and it feels so good, she joyously sings as she gets to hold her babies once more. Just seeing them brings me happiness, she says. Katie can't get enough of her little ones. Angelo was equally stressed out when finding out about all the complications Katie had gone through. Katie wasn't going through this alone and wasn't the only one feeling drained. Angelo was excited to learn triplets were on the way, and he was just as eager to share special moments with the babies. Angelo saw his baby daughter Trisha open her little eyes for the first time. All the stress he had felt previously up to that moment had melted away. He felt like they were the only two in the entire universe. The moment was truly special. Holding his new daughter in his arms, Angelo felt extremely happy. It seemed completely surreal. Was he dreaming? It felt so good to finally hold his daughters. The little bundles of joy brought much happiness and relief to Angelo. There was an instant connection between father and daughter. The first time he held the newborn there was a special moment and time stood still. It was a long time in the making, but Angelo could safely say that he was her dad and she was his daughter. The moment had finally arrived and it felt so good. Such a beautiful feeling, Angelo said. Too beautiful. Finally, Angelo could enjoy taking on the role of being a father to his baby triplets. He could finally relax and fall into the role of being a good dad. A bond between a father and daughter is something too special. It's a precious thing to have the privilege to be a father to three beautiful and healthy daughters. Angelo was overcome with joy and was looking forward to playing a new role as a father to his daughters. All of this wouldn't have been possible if the entire hospital team hadn't dedicated so much hard work and effort to ensure the successful delivery of Katie's triplets. It was a team effort to bring all three baby girls into the world. All of the credit to the Sharp Memorial Hospital and their team for the successful delivery of the triplets. Without their help and support, this situation could have ended differently. The couple is thankful for the hospital's help and is now happily holding their triplets.